Hey YouTubers, I want to share my experience with the new LG uh, washer and dryer we got. Uh, we have a problem with the new washing machine. It's a uh, WM5500HVA. And uh, the previous LG washer and dryer we had lasted 15 years, so we thought we'd get another. But uh, I don't think the quality is what it used to be, and I would have some strong reservations before I would buy another uh, LG product based on my customer service experience I've had thus far. Okay, so we get our new washer and dryer in, and uh, Home Depot folks install it. They did a nice job. We're all excited because we've got a new washer and dryer for the first time in 15 years, and we're reading the manuals, and we're, we're installing the LG app and doing laundry, and everything's cool until I open the door after doing a few loads and notice that this bolt has come loose. And it's so loose that you can see thread showing. So no problem. I think it just came loose in shipping or something. So I grab an eight millimeter socket and put it on there and try and tighten it up. Well, the bolt just spins round and round. It never does get anywhere near tight. So I go online and I go to the LG chat and I give the customer service representative my full information and I give them the model number and the serial number and as soon as I explain that this bolt is coming loose I get disconnected. So I go back into the chat and start over again. And of course it takes me several minutes to get through and explain what's going on and as soon as I send a message and say this bolt is coming loose I get disconnected. So I then try calling them on the phone. Of course it takes half an hour to get a person on the phone and they have a thick accent. We're having a hard time understanding each other, but eventually I managed to convey all the information and I explain, you know, the model number. Yes, we bought it from Home Depot. It was professionally installed. Um, you know, here's a serial number. Here's my address. Here's my phone number, all of this stuff. And I tell the lady the bolt, B-O-L-T, at the top of the hinge, H-I-N-G, is coming loose and I get disconnected. So at this point, I'm getting pretty frustrated. So I email LG and I include photos and I explain everything that's going on. And they send me back this letter. And I want to point out this next to the last paragraph. It's important to note that all manufacturing defects are covered under your warranty for up to one year from the date of purchase. However, in the event the issue is determined not to be a manufacturing de defect, there may be a diagnosis fee. So now I'm being threatened for the diagnosis fee for them to come look at this thing and determine that it does in fact have a manufacturing defect. Um, this is some of the worst customer service I've had on a new product in years. So I'm not going to pay them a diagnosis fee to come here and discover that somebody at the factory got a little over enthusiastic and over tightened that bolt. I got thread locking compound and I tightened this bolt the best I could. It's still loose. I can slip my fingernail behind the bolt. Uh, I hope the door stays on. And uh, I guess that's the best I can do because LG is not willing to stand behind their product. So uh, although it looks real nice and what have you, the warranty doesn't mean a thing. Uh, they're not willing to stand behind it and they're not willing to step up and do what's right. So uh, I'm not going to buy any more LG products. And uh, we're looking at other brands now that we need a new refrigerator. So um, you've been warned. I think LG used to make a nice product, but their customer service is terrible. I've attempted to contact them twice by chat, once by phone call, once by email, and not once has anybody said, I'm sorry you're having a problem with your washer. We're going to send somebody out to have a look at it. Um, I guess that's just par for the course these days.